Naysan Creek is the highest priority for salmon recovery in the Wenatchee Basin. There's three or 400 acres of disconnected floodplain habitat, primarily from infrastructure. You've got Highway 2, the Chelan PUD power lines, the Bonneville power lines, the railroad. Usually we're just punching holes through infrastructure. This is the first one where we're really fully connecting the floodplain area. Everyone that was working on the early design realized that the bed was so low that you weren't going to get any true floodplain connection unless you were able to relocate the channel bed. After going through an alternatives analysis, we ended up choosing a design that moved the PUD power lines outside of the project area. They had a goal they wanted to achieve and we wanted to help them achieve that goal, but we still needed to maintain and operate the line. And so we worked with them in an iterative process of several different options to help facilitate what they wanted to do, but yet maintain our access. We ended up relocating a dozen poles and it moved probably two, three hundred yards um, out of the wetland and up to Upper White Pine Road. This line that we were working on is actually one of the original lines that was installed in the early 30s. And so we took some of that aging infrastructure and replaced it with upgraded steel poles that will be here and be serviceable for many, many more years. I think the most significant part of this project is the fact that we're able to move infrastructure and truly reconnect almost 30 acres of floodplain habitat. Having those areas where there's slower velocity water and the fish can get in there and feed and rest is really important for their survival. That's really what we're trying to do here, both for fish and then it has human benefits as well. The stewardship value at the PUD, it's top down and bottom up. Everybody in our day-to-day -day jobs, we all feel that, that responsibility to the local environment, our forests, our fish habitat. I appreciated working with the PUD. I mean, you have to understand the time dedication to this project. We had monthly design team meetings for eight years. <laughs> it was a lot of time. All in all, it was a win-win. We rebuilt part of our line with taller steel poles, so they're more weather resistant. The county get their project done, increase the fish habitat. It was a good project.